Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so let's do a 10-minute video here on the Zimbabwe. We haven't talked about Zimbabwe in a long time because there's been literally nothing to talk about. So, um, but you can see what the, the guy's holding up here is apparently the new gold back currencies of Zimbabwe. All right, so and this is an attempt to fight inflation and, and of course, wean off the dollar, de-dollarization. Uh, a lot of countries are are de-dollarizing from the dollar, as we know, uh, including, of course, Iraq. Um, and um, and so Zimbabwe wants to be a part of that. We already told you guys it was, it's a reset currency. Now, of course, um, it's not going to do as well as everybody thinks it's going to do. And people, talk, I'm going to make you know gazillions of dollars. But it will come up a little. It will come up enough for people to to be okay and happy, right? Um, with their investment. Um. And so that's what we're looking for. Uh, and, then, and, and, you know, people are kind of skeptical about this. Uh, but the governor of the Reserve Bank um, is holding up the, uh, the new currencies in his hands there. And they're gold. Apparently, they're gold back. I don't see gold on them or I don't see anything gold on there. But it just looks like they're old currencies that they're holding up. But maybe, I mean, I got to look at them closer. Um, but uh, I did see the new, I did see that um, Dubai, all 24 karat Dubai um, Durham uh, currency. That was incredible, right? So I did see that. Um, but that's not Zimbabwe, right? Zimbabwe, that, those notes, I don't know. I, I, I can't tell. I, gotta, I would have to look at some other notes um, to find out. But anyway, it says that the, these, are the, these are the key points here, basically. It says here that Zimbabwe's a central bank has introduced a new gold back uh, currency, the ZIG, right? So um, I guess is for Zimbabwe gold back, <laughs> you know, ZIG is what they're calling it. Um, and then uh, to combat high inflation also says here that uh, this is Zimbabwe's sixth attempt at a new currency since 2008. Wow, six attempts at a new currency. That's crazy. Bitcoin is flushing here. I'm watching. I'm watching. I have my stuff on Marjex on right now. Uh, Bitcoin is flushing under there's sixty three thousand now. So Bitcoin under sixty three thousand and flushing as Iran is. I mean, uh, Israel is talking about striking. Um, you know, is um, Iran here um, in the coming days? So everybody's kind of scared right now. So people are scared. Uh, you know, even Greg Manorino talking about. You know, I might I might sell everything tomorrow. We'll find out. <laughs> so I don't I don't know if he will or not. I think you know maybe he was just joking. Who knows, right? The Bitcoin having is coming up though, so I just gotta be just gotta gotta weather the storm, man. You gotta weather the storm here. Um, and some people are like, nope, I'm selling now, and I'll get back in after the happening. Okay, it is what it is, right? So, anyways, uh, hold your zim hold your zim the um Bobby dollars. You know, hold your Zim dollars. Uh, we don't know how that's going to play out, but, you know, the Zim, Zimbabwe, I have no clue if we're going to be able to exchange it back uh, or exchange it to the, to the, um, for the, 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 uh, the, you know, the price of the gold ones. I don't know what, I don't, I don't know. We haven't heard much about that, so we, we don't really know. Um, but the, anyways, that's what's going on right now. And, uh, it says here that, uh, this is their sixth attempt at, at, at fixing their in, uh, hyperinflation and why didn't they just make the first one go back you know uh i mean the, the perfect situation for uh zimbabwe is um you know or any other country is is gold right uh you, you back your currency with gold or have gold in your currency then um it, it's a very really good thing that you know to fight inflation so that's what they should have done in the first place the first and same thing with Zim, um venezuela right 
just go just put gold in your currency um you know even silver is is stable you know at that 20 30 dollar area right so i mean this is anything stable like silver and gold you know would help you um be able to fight inflation of the dollar right and 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 uh and the fiat currencies printing 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 uh the african nation is aimed is aiming uh to phase out its multi-currency system where the u.s dollars dominate yeah ever a lot of these um a lot of these countries are doing the same thing, right? They're, they have these multi, the multi, uh, multiple currency system, and they use the euro, the dollar, and they use all these other currencies, right? And, um, you know, but a lot of them are start trying to phase these things and try to use their own currency and, and make them and make their own currencies go back or and some some of the people might make it Bitcoin back. Right. Um, so they, they might make it Bitcoin back. They might make it gold back. They might make it silver back because silver is going to be part of the, the new digital uh, system. Right. Because silver is going to be needed and used a lot. So that's it's, it's going to be part of the new digital system as well. So anything else here they got? Um uh, they 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 did say that the first week was actually it was actually profitable the first week against the dollar which was which they um said it was uh interesting okay so they introduced a new gold back um Zimbabwe do gold back Zimbabwe dollars which is called the Zig and attempts to tame uh, gains that reach a seven month high of fifty five percent in March okay. um. It says uh, there's been a so little confidence in Zimbabwe's local currency that 80 percent of the country population transacts in U.S. dollars. So there you go. So they're, they're, you know, at some point we, we told them at some point Zimbabwe's got to has got to, you know, get out of the corruption, get out of their way, get some get a leader in there, that, you know, um, start using their own uh, minerals, start using their own uh, commodities and assets and uh and tell the west and, and and china no you know tell the west and china no you know uh break free by gold back silver back commodity back they got i think they got diamonds too right don't they have diamonds in, in zimbabwe so you know what i mean they can i mean do these things that you can use to get out of um you know get out of the hands and the grips of america and china and the western world right especially if you're under um sanctions as well right so okay so uh, yeah, it says um, uh, the, the the central bank governor said that the uh, the country has real gold and mineral assets uh, to back up the new zig currency. I mean, if this is what they should have done ten years ago, you know, like are you kidding me? You just thought about this. I mean, you've been messing up the whole country since since 2008 i'm not talking about him i'm i'm pretty sure he's a new guy i i, I don't think he was was he in there last time i was talking about zimbabwe i think he's a new central bank governor but i mean these guys have been messing up their their, their currency their economic system since 2008 instead of just going gold back back then and he wouldn't have had a problem so it's kind of weird that they like oh yeah let's just go go back now you know like i'm not sure you know what took so long but anyways on sunday they noted that uh they wrote that the Zim zimbabwe's economy needs fundamental fix uh like reductions in physical deficits and external debt not new currency okay so some people are, are skeptical of this okay dollar trying to bounce back uh not dollar but um bitcoin sixty three thousand one thirty two trying to bounce back here okay all right bitcoin fighting bulls trying to fight back here uh, however, moving to the new Zig currency could solve at least one problem from the start, a shortage of U.S. coins. All right. Well, yeah, because if you're de-dollarizing, well, then you're going to have you're not going to have dollars and coins. Right. You're not going to have U.S. dollars and coins. And that's going to put a lot of pressure on you to figure something out. Right. Because nobody wants to use a worthless Zim dollar, just like in Iraq. They don't want to use a dinar. They want to use dollars. And then they have a dollar crisis and a dollar problem. Right. And so they have to teach the people that the, you got to use your currency. You got to use your currency. You got to use your currency. But the people are going to say, well, give us laws, give us reforms and give us purchasing power. So, you know, it's the same thing here. So Zimbabwe, if the Zimbabwe people want, if the, if the Zimbabwe government wants them to use their currency. They got to give them what? They got to give them laws. They got to give them reforms and they got to give them purchasing power. Right. So those are the things that come with it. Right. So they're trying to get the people off of the dollar. Well, you have to make your 
currency stronger than the dollar. You have to add purchasing power to your currency and use it and have it available everywhere. It has to be has to have liquidity, right? Has to have it has to be liquid. Has to be liquid. It has to have liquidity. Um, it has to be everywhere. And also, you have to add the laws to protect investors. Uh, so or and people and customers that go into a bank, right? If I go into a bank and I deposit my Zim, my Zig dot, my Zig dollars, right? It's not going to be stolen. I, I'm protected, right? At least up to two hundred and fifty thousand or, what, or whatever price, a hundred thousand dollars, right? They have to have some type of protection like that, you know, uh, in there. Even though people, a lot of people say the, the American, you know, two hundred fifty thousand is bull crap. Um, it's still there, right? It's still there, and you can go to law, and you can go to court about it, and try to fight your way. But it, it's the law right now. But are you going to win? And the banks can get out of it. Maybe, maybe not. But at least it's a law that's written down in books right now, and, and it is the law. So Zimbabwe needs to do the same thing with the Zig to to, to perform here, and same thing with Iraq and everybody else. You got to put the laws in. You got to put the reforms in, and you got to give purchasing power to get the people off of the dollar. All right, so that's what I'm talking. That's what's going on here. Uh, I need to look at these at, at this currency a lot closer, though. Um, these ads are killing me, man. <laughs> but I need to look. Is this is this just regular? Why did Why did they go back? Is this just regular currency, or is just does it actually have gold on it, or they're just saying that they're just backing it with gold? Because I, I mean, if this is just a regular currency, it says new national currencies, um, the Zimbabwe gold zig. So I don't know, like I don't. It looks like the regular currency, though, um, but it could have some type of new features. Or maybe it does have new features on there, um, new update features, and then they're just going to back it with gold. So maybe there's no gold in, actually on the note. I'm looking for gold in the note. I don't see any gold on the note. Maybe there is. I don't know. All right. Bitcoin's recovering a little bit here. Um, 63,160. Trying to go a little bit here, but uh, it's still, you know, people are in fear. A lot of fear here. So we'll see how this plays out. Five o'clock is here. And we'll see if the if the if, you know Bitcoin can um, either rally or is it going to flush down to that sixty thousand to sixty thousand here as Israel preparing to strike? Could be tonight, could be tomorrow. We don't know. And they're they're leaving that up in the air right now. We got to wait for the Israeli um, the, the commanders and stuff to say something. And once they do, they say we're going tonight. Then you, of course you might see Bitcoin flush here. Um, so we got to watch and see. Peace out, God bless. I'll see you guys next week.